where fear has been the primary operating system of your life, eject it and burn the back up. Today, you're going to insert faith in there. And from now on, we don't just live in crazy faith. We live in crazier faith. God, if you said it, I will obey. God, if you want me to go, I'm already moving. God, if you want me to stay, I ain't moving till you bless me. There is a level of crazier faith that is available to you right now. Elijah starts living in crazy faith. And then he starts living in crazier faith. Doing stuff, BP, that nobody said he could do. How do you, how do you go and buy a building and pay it off in six months with people donating from around the world? Do they go to your church? Are they your members, though? Like, these are questions like bankers and stuff. Like, do they, like, do they, do they know what you're doing with the money? Like, It may not make sense to you, but it's about to make a miracle for me. Oh, that's gangster. It may not make sense to you. It, it may not make sense when the doctors tell me that my son is nonverbal and he's about to be six and there, there's only so much that we can do, but God's given me a word. I don't need nobody's help. I'm too pumped up already. God's already given me a word. So it may not make sense to you, Mr. Doctor, Mrs. Speech Therapist. It may not make sense, but for Michael Alexander Todd Jr., it's about to make a miracle. Woo! Somebody needs to get another level of indignant and say it might not make sense, but it's about to make a miracle. See, when you start living in crazier faith, you start doing different stuff. When you see a door, you start thinking about how it's coming down. When you see a mountain, you start thinking about how it's going to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, a lot of times when we're living at this low level, we see a door and we start thinking about why it can't happen. It's closed to me. Every door has hinges. Y'all, every door has hinges. Enough knocking, and if I got to get gangster, I'll kick that. Some of y'all need to get a level of faith that says if I gotta kick this door down, woo, if I gotta walk up to it and knock over and over until the hinges start to shake. I'm not talking about no low level faith, Tony. I'm talking crazier faith. Somebody shouted me crazier faith. However you've been believing, crazier. Whatever you've been saying, crazier. Whatever you've been confessing, go crazier. Well, my family, they won't understand. When I tell them I'm leaving Florida and I'm moving to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, my business and my music and my everything is in Atlanta. My connections are in L.A. My company is in. It don't matter. Because this next season, we're moving in crazier faith. I don't got time to go through all of it, but you need to read all the second Kings this week. And look at Elijah. And look how you pass down a double portion to Elisha. And he starts living this out. And now I want to go to when he dies. Oh, dang. Sad. You're going to die at some point. My question is, what will they say about you when you're dead? The worst compliment that you could ever get when you die is something short like this. He was cool. I mean, when they, when they, when they, Read your epitaph, will it be like, they were fun. You just summed up 89 years of life. They were fun. No, tell me more about them. I mean, just the life of the party. What? They didn't do nothing that made anybody move into anything else. They didn't change the trajectory of the people that would come behind them. The Bible says the least you can do as a good man leaves an inheritance for his 
Children, he ain't leave. We ain't getting nothing but pictures. I mean, he looked nice, but. See, faith builds a legacy. Fear builds a legacy too. And many of us are living in the fear of our grandparents and our parents. The reason you won't step out because you never saw anybody do it. The reason you won't go to counseling is because we don't tell people our business, but you jacked up. And now your kids is going to pornography to feel, let me stop. But if you could ever really deal with your own stuff. Fear is now passing down generationally. But that scripture said, now, faith. Today as I'm sitting here, I believe that something can switch in your life. That where fear has been the primary operating system of your life, eject it and burn the backup. Today, you're going to insert faith in there. And from now on, we don't just live in crazy faith. We live in crazier faith. God, if you said it, I will obey. God, if you want me to go, I'm already moving. God, if you want me to stay, I ain't moving till you bless me. There is a level of crazier faith. That is available to you right now. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.